It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the afternoon edition for Wednesday, October 12th. I'm James Spann. Yeah, you know the deal. Drought conditions. Uh, we have to conserve water. We have to watch these wildfires. No relief through Friday. Will it rain anywhere this weekend? And what about next week? In the tropics, we got one system to talk about. So here we go. Water vapor satellite view ridging in place here across the deep south and a cold trough up north. Temperatures mostly mid to upper 70s, not too bad. In fact, those numbers are really about average for uh, this time of the year. Birmingham at 78, Fort Payne 73, Coleman 77. A well-defined cold front, though, between Little Rock and Tulsa. Little Rock, 82, Tulsa only at 55. And deep in the cold air, they're only in the 30s up north on this October day. Cold front's going to be close, but it's not going to make it down in here. But the question is, will it be close enough to kick off a few showers maybe later this week or early in the weekend? We'll see. We'll talk about that. And the growing season is ending for cities like Omaha, Des Moines, Minneapolis, St. Paul, Madison, Wisconsin. Frost and freeze warnings in effect there. Along the front, a couple of marginal severe weather risks for the rest of today and tonight. One for places like Fayetteville and Harrison, Arkansas. And then one up toward uh, Grand Rapids, Michigan. Tomorrow, no severe weather expected. Maybe some thunder west of the state. And on day three, which is Friday, uh, so close. This is suggesting maybe some thunder for places like Memphis, Vicksburg, Mississippi, and the Delta. Over to Shreveport, but uh, probably not here. This is the rain for the next five days, valid through Monday morning of next week. And this is showing a little bit over the Tennessee Valley. And I do think uh, we could mention... A few widely scattered showers there Friday and Saturday, but for the rest of the state, no. It just still looks dry for a while. Tropical weather, one system on the board. Hurricane Nicole packing sustained winds at 100 miles an hour. This thing is going to be basically coming right into the small island of Bermuda tomorrow morning. And I mean, it looks like a direct hit. And the odds of a direct hit are always small because that is such a tiny little speck out there in that vast ocean. But they, they are rushing their preparedness actions to completion this afternoon. Then it moves out into the North Atlantic. No threat to the United States. So let's see if we can dig up some rain here. Here's the GFS, the 12Z run, valid tomorrow at 1 o'clock. Got a flat ridge here. A weak surface front from Columbus, Ohio, uh, down to near Oklahoma City. And behind that, a 1027 high. And for us, we stay dry. We're expecting mid 80s. Should be a pretty warm day, warmer than today. Uh, the sky partly to mostly sunny and any showers north and west of here. Friday, the front fizzles out. And you can see evidence of maybe a few showers on Friday for places like Memphis, Little Rock, Shreveport, Dallas, Fort Worth. But again, I just don't think we have much of a chance here. I guess if you're in Florence or the Shoals, you might have the chance of a brief shower, but that's not going to help much. And Saturday, Again, you might mention a small chance of a shower, but for most everybody, the weather looks dry. Uh, the high Friday will likely be in the mid-80s, then closer to 80 on Saturday. We do note there's a chance of showers up in uh, Knoxville, Tennessee. Alabama plays the uh, Tennessee Volunteers in Knoxville Saturday afternoon, so rain a possibility for that game. Just for the fun of it, we'll check the European Saturday at 4 o'clock, and it shows nothing here. Sunday looks dry. Another front north and west of the state. The high Sunday would be in the low 80s. And this is Monday. That front, again, stalls out north and west of here. Showers just non-existent. We'll be in the 80s. Same thing Tuesday. And this is a week from today. Wednesday the 19th, troughing north of the state. And looky here. Got a surface cold front coming in. And just maybe, just maybe that'll kick off a few showers, but moisture is going to be limited. The dynamic support to the north, that's not the kind of rain we need. But just maybe somebody will get a shower to settle the dust. This is the end of the forecast period. This is Friday. I'm sorry, Saturday, October 22nd. Pretty good trough on the east coast. And again, that looks uh, cool and dry if this verifies. Check the numbers coming off the GFS. You can see 80s into next week, but then that nice cool down uh, toward the end of next week uh, with highs dropping into the low 70s by perhaps the weekend of the 22nd and 23rd. But again, the prospects of a big beneficial rain event just look very tiny 
for the next 10 days. We might have to wait until November. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes in the blog next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. If you can't catch us this evening on the live stream of the television side, ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening and God bless.